Wow, really? You need to really be careful. Oh, no, no way. This is about to go down. Oh, what are they hiding? Does this person ever tell the truth? This person secretly desires you here. No way. No, no, no. Seriously? So, you? why are you not communicating? Seriously, be careful. What on earth is going on here? Turn back now if your feelings are easily hurt. You may not like me, but I will tell you what I see. Capricorn. So what I'm going to do is a Capricorn, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, but I really don't like all this divine stuff, but we're just going to call it Feminine and Masculine, whoever it is that you're also connected to, okay? So, Capricorn, let's have a look at the Feminine. What is the Feminine going through at this time? What is the Feminine going through at this time? So, Capricorn, there is a marriage at hand. Either someone is married or they are possibly looking for divorce. Okay. Obviously, if things are going extremely well in your commitment, then you are married or this person is. But like I said, it is a major kind of five. So, you would get the five of swords, five of wands, five of cups. So, it depends on what the uh, masculine is going through. But as it stands, this person is more than likely in a very strong commitment or a marriage. Okay. So let's see the Capricorn feminine. What are they going through? The feminines of Capricorn, what are they going through? So three of pentacles, divorcing or actually getting married. It's up to you. <laughs> if there is a third party, that could be coming up in your actual reading here. But at the moment, divine feminine, if you are connected to a Capricorn, say, okay, this is going to court, child services and so on and so forth. Okay, and looking for procedures of possible divorce. So if you're a cross watcher and you're like, well, I'm waiting for my Capricorn to get divorced. There you go. This is the procedure of stuff that's kind of going ahead. Okay. Uh, that's only at the moment. It's, you know, we've only got two cards out. Uh, let's see the divine feminine. What are they going through? Capricorn feminines. What is the feminine Capricorn going through? Feminine Capricorns. So Libra, definitely. This is a marriage or divorce. Like I said, if Libra or the Hierophant was in the upright position, for me, that would be divorce. This is actually saying marriage, but because I'm not reading uh, in reversals at the moment or a rehearsal, or Russell, Crow, Brandon, Lee, Le Leanne, Laura, Lucy, uh, Linda, Liz, Taylor, Lee, Leanne. Um, but like I said, this, this to me all day long is a court situation that's been dragged out for a long time. Okay. Now, if you are with someone, okay, you are with somebody, then this has involved a new person that you are, because it's like an engagement or a very strong connection that you've got with someone that could lead to marriage. Okay. But I'm kind of picking up the fact that the divine feminines are kind of attached to someone where it would, would require going to court, okay? So let's um, – I will go down onto the uh, table so you can see the cards in a moment. But I just want to draw three cards for the masculine who you're connected to and see what they are going through. So let's see. What is the masculine going through that is connected to Capricorn? The masculine connected to Capricorn. Uh, five of Swords. There you go. So you've kind of got this um, two life, but like this could be a life path five Sagittarius Taurus placements here, or a place this person could have a fish somewhere. Okay, life path three or a Piscean. But um, at the moment, the masculine is kind of like looking. I mean, like I said, you could be a feminine masculine. But whichever way it is, this person's looking across to this to say, you know what, I have pretty much had enough of all of this and I just, I, I can't keep up with it, okay? There could have been a lot of mind games, manipulation, okay? Uh, attention deficit, this person's like wanting your attention now. It's kind of like, well, now you've got my attention, okay? <laughs> so, like, you know, whichever way around it is, if you wanted my attention, now you've got it, Okay. If you wanted the truth, now you've got it, right? This is the truth. Because it's upright, a lot of you have possibly just found out the truth, okay? And now it's kind of like, really? That's the truth. Can you handle the truth? <laughs> okay. But it's like, so now you know, right? Now you know. So let's see. Um, masculines. So there's this energy of 
maybe children being involved, trying to discuss things amicably, okay? So for a start, I'm going to go through the, the scenario of this being a divorce um, because I'm also seeing other messages for, for a lot of you. Let's have a look at the divine masculine of what they are going through because if there is a third party, okay, if there is a third party, might be a Leo or an Aquarius, but they are talking to someone else, right? This would be talking to another woman, okay? Five of Swords, right, I need to show you what I'm kind of... Um, I've actually got some new cards also coming up very soon as well. Um, should be arriving any day soon. So, as it stands, the Divine Feminine, or the Feminine, is going through this situation and maybe going to court, okay? If there is another woman that is involved they would obviously come up as the new feminine and this would be the old feminine kind of energy, right? Because if there is separation and there is divorce and this is the divine masculine that is now kind of like, right, you know, now I've found out, blah, 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 so on and so forth, I've had enough. But I'm kind of picking this up as the feminine that is looking over to this situation, carrying on with this third energy being the other woman, Okay, being the other woman that is involved in this third party situation. Because the reason why I would see that <clears throat> is because if that other woman was to watch this and dealing with a Capricorn and you're in a third party, they would pretty much say, Well, okay, I'm the feminine here and we're together, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we've united or we're with each other, whatnot. And now this is the ex of the old divine feminine that has now found out situations of what's going on over here that he or she is now talking to another person here. But I think that whichever way around it is that you look at this, guys, this leaves you free and open now, okay? If if you are relating more to the feminine that's found something out here and you're now royally pissed off, then this leaves you free now in order to be able to express yourself in a single manner or to someone else. But if this come across as the masculine... Um, there's an argument that's going to be talked about or discussed here about I'm disgusted the, the fact that you're with this other woman and that's kind of what is going across in my mind, blah, 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 so on and so forth, that you're now actually talking to this other woman here. Okay. Um, so show me... Um, the Hierophant for the Divine, for the Feminine. Why is the Hierophant here? So, wow. So you got the King and the Queen of Wands now, no longer a counterpart at the moment when we're looking at this divorce or situation. Okay. Because here's the King and here's the Queen separated from one another. The Queen is looking in this direction and the King is basically looking at his erection. Okay. So... I'm, I really need to get this through first because I've got other messages coming through of you guys that are in kind of couples, blah, 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 so on and so forth, and you're not relating to the divorce, right? So don't forget you can also watch this as Gemini or Life Path 6 because I read in numerology and they are both major arcanas. So the king and the queen looking at separating and a divorce and the children are involved and there's a lot of arguments that may be coming up to do with who has access to the children, where you're going to be taking the children. I don't want her having anything to do with my kids because you're my ex-husband, but now this other woman's now here and because she's here, she now has to have access to my kids and I don't want to give up my kids for the other woman that you've got, blah, blah, blah. And what have I got out of this scenario? Absolutely nothing, right? So now I I lose this kind of situation. You get somebody else and you have your wicked way with someone else. I end up single on my own. And the fact now that this other woman's involved with the children and I am not going to like that. So I am not on that kind of vibe of discussion. Okay. But it might be up for discussion for a lot of you here that you might be trying to avoid. Because it's like this person's kind of saying, look, I need your attention at the moment. We're going to have to start to talk about this. Okay, because she's going to be here, blah, 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 so on and so forth, and I'm planning on being with her, and you need to kind of realise that this is a part of our life. If we've got children, we've got to do this for the kids, not for us. Okay, so that's a scenario that's going on with the king and the queen that are now no longer 
together. This could be a five and this could be a five, meaning Sagittarius Taurus. Sagittarius Taurus, if it is, that's the five, there's the Taurus. That puts them at a life path five energy. Possible. Okay, if you do not follow me and you don't understand numerology, you're going to get confused and mixed up, right? I have to say that to the newcomers, okay? Because if this is Sagittarius, it puts it at a five, and that also makes it Taurus as a five, okay? So you're also looking at readings that are to do with around your, based around your numerology of your life path as well, okay? So if you guys are, not separating, you're not divorced and stuff like that. This is an actual couple that have reconciled and they're working on their commitment. Okay, they're working on their commitment. But somebody here could also have a wandering eye whilst in a commitment and whilst in a relationship. They have a wandering eye for this other woman and they are also paying attention over here to try and fix some kind of relationship that they've got going on with someone. But the third energy brings in this Five of Swords trying to work out here, but they're also communicating with this other woman. Now, like I said, you may not know this. You may know it, you may not know it. You may or may not be aware. But this is what the this is what the cards are showing me. Okay. Don't forget, you can watch this as Gemini, Capricorn, Life Path Six is. Okay. Unless you've got Gemini and Capricorn both in your chart. Um so that's the other story. Someone's working on a commitment and a relationship. They're with this person, but they're kind of going through this um, trust stage, trust issues. Five and five, I've got trust issues. I love you. I want to be with you, sure. But I don't fully trust you, right? I don't fully 100% trust you yet because we could have gone through the ringer. We've separated so many different times and got back together and united back together. This would be a three of cups. And because we've split up, got back together, split up, got back together, reunited, and then went gone our separate ways, because we have, now we're back together, I now have trust issues, the fact that this is going to happen again. So this energy would say to this energy, well, please stop, keep sabotaging the relationship. I don't want this to go wrong, but if you're constantly going to distrust me or you do just trust me here, then you're going to constantly be thinking about um, negative energy. You're going to be thinking that much about distrust, 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 blah, 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 but they are trying. This person here is trying to make this work. Okay, that's like if your partnerships, there is no lying and cheating and manipulating and blah, 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 and you're with your person, but you're having a bit of a to-do about nothing. It's not nothing here to the say to the feminine that thinks the masculine could be actually talking to another woman. They are the one, they don't know that, or two, <laughs> I don't think they do. I think there's this energy of both. This person is trying to work something out in this commitment, but whilst they do, and the distrust here, they're also talking to this, but like I said, this could come across as a friend, right? So, you know, always take messages that I'm giving you with a grain of salt and don't go jumping to conclusions. If you're looking for a message and you're like, yep, Steve, say no more, that's all I need to know, and you go down your own path of what you believe, so be that, okay? Okay. Um, so let's see the three of one, three of pentacles. Why is the feminine going through the three of pentacles? Queen of cups. <laughs> see two women, two women and two, and uh, a counterpart as well. So this person is in a commitment. They are either married, committed or definitely seeing someone. 100% here. And there's flirtatious behavior kind of going on as well. Um, now, like I said, if you're like, right, that's really pissing me off because I don't want them to be with this person here, then please do not blame me in the comment section here. Like I said, I will tell you the truth of what I see in readings. Okay. Justice. What's justice here for? Yeah, because of this ending... This person's got a lot of water in their chart as well, like Scorpio, Aries, possible, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, three, seven, and four, life path energies. 
Um, Mm. You see, because this three is connecting to this water sign energy that is here. So it's definitely involving water signs. Def, Steph, Jeff or Steve. What is this five of swords for the masculine? Like I said, you can choose. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you. No, this is not you and this is you. <laughs> right? It's a reading. So this person now feels that they've lost, that they have lost. Okay, it's it's a feeling. It's not saying that they have, but it looks like that this side has everything. And this side has everything to lose, thinking that they are going to lose, that there's nothing that they can do now in order to save this. Okay, because they feel at a loss. They feel like that you've been playing mind games or, you know, we've gone through the wars and now I have to look at this going on. Now, like I said, I'm kind of also picking up messages of if there is another person involved, this is coming across as the divine, the second counterpart, the, the new one, okay, that is involved in this. So if I can briefly explain this to you if you're not quite seeing it. This side here is connected to this side here as a feminine and masculine energy. But... The feminine, that be the new person, is also this side that has to watch this one go through all of this, through the separation and the divorce and uh, the, the procedures of having to go through all of that. So what's the Knight of Cups for the Divine Masculine? going for an ending. Wherever you're masculine or feminine here, it's going through an ending. What is the Queen of um, Wands? Yeah, there's a new person here for some of you. If you are feminine here on this side and you feel lost that you've been gaslit, because some of you think that this is the divine, or know that this is the divine masculine, maybe gone through situations of, like, gaslighting. This is the major arcana of being gaslit. So it's, like, confused. Like, I really don't know what's kind of going on. I don't quite know my mind yet. And that's also going through the couple that are actually trying to work on this kind of scenario is the fact that they've gone through the wars and the fact that the feminine now believes that the masculine is... Because the masculine here, if this be the masculine, this kind of like, this is like, everything's gushy with me, bruv. Like, I'm like good with work. I'm looking for a commitment. I'm looking for a relationship. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready when you are, right? Wait, hold on a minute, Jose. Okay, not so fast. You may be hunky-dory, Dave, and you might have everything that you want, okay, but I've gone through the ringer with you keep changing your mind and stuff. So now I feel like that I may have trust issues, but that's within my right to have trust issues. The fact that I'm confused and I don't quite know how I feel at the moment. I want to talk to you, and I am, and we will, and we are going to, okay? And I do still want to be with you, the Queen and the King of Wands, but... Because of what has happened before, I believe is more than likely going to happen again, Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. And I believe that that's going to happen again. So at the moment, I just want to take things one step at a time and just keep it more on a, uh, well, like a flirtatious, maybe um, friends with benefits type sort of thing here. And that also might be going on in a third party as well. Okay, if this person has a wandering eye, there might be kind of this um, friends with benefits connection type sort of soulmate-y, twin flamey type sort of stuff of like, you know, I could be flirting with another person, right? Because you have got two women here. There's another story that I'm kind of seeing. You guys make up your own mind, okay? Because <laughs> I can feel the tension in the air of like, this is a load of poppycock nonsense crap because I don't know it and... 
This is what a tarot reading is. If if you are really like easily triggered and you don't know and you're confused, then tarot really isn't for you, you know, because I can only give you what I see. Um, especially when it comes to be doing feminine and masculine. I've had it. This is why I didn't do it before. People that followed me for ages. Right, you are now a prick because you you said this about me. <laughs> right? Don't watch tarot. If you're going to complain, don't watch tarot card readings. It, it's up to you. But if it does your head in and you can't take what it is on these spiritual journeys and what they're like and what they're really about, then, like I said, man, y'all can just sit in the dark if you want. Okay? Be left out in the dark and sit in the dark thinking about it. So, you know, as it stands, there's like this one night stand energy coming through here of like this flirtatious kind of sexual desire because the king of wands can have quite a bit of a sexual desire and it might be desiring where I'm kind of desiring two women, okay? One being my ex or something like that, okay? So I have this need, this, this desire, okay? Um, but that could have also been something of the past where you guys know that you love each other and you're with each other, but there's been these situations where you've gone through separation and other people have been involved in this kind of scenario. And there's like this backwards and forwards because this person here has now got trust issues and possible signs of like, you know, maybe PTSD or worry, stress, you know, a new beginning, a fresh start, what's going to happen with my life, what's going to happen if I fully let this person into my life and I start to trust them again, will they break my trust and Justin, but will they break my trust, you know, but definitely talking. Okay, what have we got? Yeah. Um, hold on, guys. Don't go anywhere yet. So let's do you a couple of other cards on here. Capricorn. Show me messages for the feminine. Any messages for the feminine? Okay, you got three. Could be a Pisces. <laughs> I don't trust you. We are more alike than I admit. I look easy. Uh, I took the easy way out. Okay. So there is this energy of trust of what I was saying here. That kind of belongs more on that one. But if you're looking at that story where I'm telling you there's a new person and an old person involved and a possible third, okay, that would come through as the, the person that's getting divorced and separated saying, um, you know, I don't trust you anymore. And this one is kind of like, well, I took the easy way out, you know. I jumped ship and went into blah, 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 so on and so forth. And But this one's kind of like, well, I don't trust you. But they're kind of like this energy here, I believe, is coming through as someone that's also talking to someone else where they're like, we're, we are more alike than I care to admit. I think that we are so compatible and we're alike. You know, we are so much alike. <clears throat> but that's also coming through as a mirror as a couple that are trying to work it out if there is an infidelity of third party. That's why this person has trust issues, because of this possibly happening before. Any messages for Capricorn? I don't need your approval. I fear that you will reject me. Okay, so there is this fear... Because this energy here is arguing between this divorce and they're saying, I don't need your approval in order to go or do or speak to whoever the fuck I want. Okay, we're getting divorced, we're separated. If I want to start seeing this person, I will because we're not together anymore and we're divorced. Yeah, but you took the easy way out. You're getting everything. I don't care. So this person's kind of showing no empathy for the other person anymore because this one's attitude is also... Sorry, I don't mean to be blatantly honest like I am 
<clears throat> but this person here is like, I don't need your approval in order to do anything now, okay? I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't want anything from you anymore. I don't need your approval. I'm basically on my way out in order to start my life and do whatever I want because it's over. It's finished. So take your approval or whatever. I don't care, okay? Now, this person here is possibly also going through this fear of being rejected here fear of being rejected because it could be a new person okay and it might be like not on fear of being rejected it's on fear of opening up to someone because i think that what happened in this one will happen in this one <clears throat> you see karma carries over from one to another and when you are in circumstances like this this is what you are actually manifesting into a five to six month period of time so you start to go through these trust issues and then when you meet someone new, the new person that you actually meet is like, oh, hold on a minute because I've had a lot of problems kind of going on in in here and I don't want to fully commit and blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of like not a fear of rejection, but it's more of a fear of this happening again, of what happened in this scenario. And that would possibly also be the husband or the wife that are getting divorced with a new person. They're possibly also going through that fear of... Um, old relationships rearing itself up to happen again in new relationships. Okay. So it's taking its toll here. Um, there you go. So that's what I've got. What do you think, Capricorn? Do you like this? Do you want me to continue to do it or are you just not bothered? <laughs> Please let me know in the comment section, guys. <clears throat> okay. It's just I've got some other cards coming up as well, some new ones, and they should be here within a day or so. Um, and I actually really want to use them. Um, and then I thought, I want to do something different. So we're going to be doing some divine feminine or masculine or feminine masculine, you versus them, and I'll see what I can see. Okay, um, please like, share, and comment, subscribe, leave me a comment. Now, if you would like to uh, join, the join button below, it's only $4, $3 or $4, I think. And over there, you get your star sign weekly and monthly readings. Constantly, every single day, I put out readings for the star signs. Can't guarantee which readings I get round to doing on YouTube because it depends on which ones that perform the best. If you perform the best with like, shares, comments and subscriptions and all that sort of stuff and views, then I will do those star signs. If they are very poorly viewed and liked and commented on, I've got that opinion that you don't want the readings. So you can find them over on the join button below that only costs you two or three dollars. I also teach. So there's 150 teaching videos over there for you to dig your teeth into. Okay. And then you also get a free question and answer when I go live. If you are a Barmy Army Steve Tarot <laughs> club, if you're in that, then you get a free question and answer when I go live. Okay. Thanks very much, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.